Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with a more Mad Max. As, uh, as Cameron Connor. Yeah, Connor Cameron. Playing the games. Playing the games and drinking the beers. And, and you know, I love the games and also, the beers. Uh, also the tea. I'm also drinking the tea smart. right now. Because well, it's late. Mind, you guys yeah. don't see the time, but it's like 1 a.m. Yeah, it's, mind, it's, it's... And we're getting old. I, I do like the chamomile tea. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It really helps my throat too, especially when I like record the next day, yeah. uh, like for the, for the musics. Uh, what sorcery? Be oh, this. this is this guy, the mysterious wastelander. Oh. Is this the character from Fallout? I was actually thinking Resident Evil. Yeah, either way. What are you buying? <sighs> there you are. What did you fit? of sands, letter of blood. Remnants of a ruined past. No, just yes, why does everyone speak in parables? <laughs> but do you not wonder them right now? The remains of your life, a perpetual flight, an escape from all that is human, until one day the plains of silence end and you begin. You have a purpose in this life, my friend, although you fear to dream it. But pain will come, much more pain, before this purpose to you is made manifest. You know nothing of me. You know Look nothing. Look behind you. Jon Snow. A dune <laughs> the dune of drifting, half-forgotten terrors. You Do flee you dog tags? Ways. Probably. These I mean. past phantoms. And See our bartender was wearing that dog tags earlier? Yeah, it's not inside. important. <laughs> You've come to Griffith for a reason, deep inside. Twisted around horrors from which you run lies your strength. You know, man, I don't walk Griffith up to you and tell you about all of your deep-seated you emotional traumas that you're trying to bury <laughs> deep between a masculine facade that nobody's accepting. Oh, and you're then just blue coke, coke in your face. <laughs> coke in your face. <laughs> Oh, we uh, got some uh, options here. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, just, uh, you wanna, yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, look at those points that just put in themselves right. in. We didn't take any time crazy. to do that. Crazy longevity, munitions, attunement, and adaptation. Pretty yeah. much, it means that we can get more stuff while looting. Woo! Oh God, what? Where you blowing my face? I'm tripping so hard. Tripping bald right now. I don't even know where I am. Oh, do you notice he's also wearing a uh, paracord? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he would just sit there doing that repeatedly until I <laughs> Yeah, until you I did moved. something. <laughs> he, okay. was just, he was just tripping balls, bro. Oh, God, what am I even doing? Anyway. Yeah. So, bastardization of... Above. Things Spoilers. like... What were we talking about? That's trouble. Dog tags and paracord. Oh, yeah, that's just that's personal. I, I shouldn't get into that. That's not fair. Where's All right, let's not move on to that then. Yeah. Oh, oh car's gone. Shit. Oh, signal. Use a flare gun. I want to shoot people with the flare gun. I don't want to waste on signaling the car to yeah, get right? to us. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Let's send people on fire. Sneaking, spying, wanting to well. steal her away from us. I had to take her somewhere. No time to waste. So, like, yeah, We've when we were outside you. earlier, between yes, yes, between yes, plays, <laughs> um, I was. Uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about. Oh, uh, let's let's plays and let's play errors and stuff, and you know, like uh, uh, somebody told us recently that like. We do a lot of Let's Plays where we drink and stuff, and it's not really marketable to the people who watch Let's Plays, being that they're mostly teenagers, or at least that's the conception, at least. I, I don't actually know how to do it. Does it look like I do market research? Actually, yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well I don't. <laughs> anyway, so where are you going with that, Connor? Uh, you know, I, I think we both decided that, uh, fuck them. 
<laughs> <laughs> that was kind of our decision because it's it's not like it doesn't make sense. I mean, if you look at a lot of let's players and stuff, you know, uh-huh. uh, they're almost unbearable to watch for me. I don't know. I don't want to name names specifically, and there's there's exceptions. Like I I like. You know, I'll name the ones that I like. You know, like the, I, lo- I love the achievement hunter guys, and you know, they're they're not appropriate all the time. No, that's true. Yeah. And you know, um, a lot of people are geared towards a larger audience. Um, you know, where where people just it's what more it? teenagers than it is. Uh, like adults. And I stuff. think you were making me watch a Mark Flair episode where he said something like, you know, you become this kind of uh, you know, character, and you know. Uh, you start not even remembering that it's a character kind of thing. And we don't really do that. We're just kind of ourselves, and I don't know if that makes us less marketable. I'm pretty sure that makes us less marketable. Yeah, we kind of suck. 12 subscribers. (laughs) Woo! (laughs) Thank you, 12 subscribers. So Love you guys. Okay, test out Nitro Boost. Oh, that's a Nitro. That's pretty good. Yeah, but... Yeah, I, I'll, yeah, maybe if I was getting paid, I'd, I'd, I'd act different. Yeah, exactly. But we're not getting paid. We're spending money. And nothing's coming back. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, F him. I'm going to shoot him with a harpoon. You do that. Oh, oh they rammed me. Oh, Jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> that was pretty rad. They're scrapped. Uh-oh, we're f- effed. You're going to have to get out and fuck him. Jesus. Kim, LB. Oh, you're on the shotgun mode. <laughs> I just pulled the guy out. Right, that car. works. That's Take him for a ride. Oh! You want to fix the car first so we're not on fire? Dickhead. Hey, <laughs> Zeus. No, right? Uh, Can we drive this? Yeah. I guess so. It's going to help, Bart. I don't know what that means. I'm going to punch it till it explodes. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, we we just kind of do our thing, right? And, uh, you know, honestly, I'm I'm not sure if that makes us better or worse as a Let's player. But, I mean, you know, we're not getting paid for it. We're just here uh, to know. play and have fun. And I think that's what's important at the moment. Yeah. And, and, you know, it would be great if things work out. But, you know. Until then. That's not, I don't think that's, this isn't either of our main focus. You know, both of us have, yeah. have things we work on outside yeah, of that. Connor's a yeah. musician. Which I, you know. I do work really hard at, even though nobody likes my shit. <laughs> this is the thing, you know, this is our side project, but we just happen to be more successful at this than any of our other stuff. Which is sad. Which is horrible when you think about it. And, uh, I did a, I did a, did I tell you about the, no, you left the gig, you didn't get to see the gig. No. Uh, yeah. I did a, I did a, I'm a punk rocker, and I did a, I did a gig at a bookstore. Ah, uh, yeah, how was that? Awkward. Yeah, it's not like my songs are drenched in like profanity or anything like that. It's just, except for the fuck the, me, fuck me, fuck me. The yeah, classic. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I want to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> we no, we did the gig, and I, you know, I did it with, with Mindy, my girlfriend. Who's got a video on here who's more successful than most of ours. Sadly enough. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't checked it out so far, it's actually a boy love dating sim. That's kind of her thing. So, So yeah. If you're interested, you know. Check it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, they liked her song. Oh, shit. He put in a V6 and a V8. Oh, no. We're going to land a big chief. A bona fide bad boy. Huh? 429 cubic inches, 460 uh, horses, holy rolling, nobody could touch you on the blacktop, pay your night right, you'd be evergreen. It's I like I how energetic this God. guy is about vehicles. Where is it? Gas town. Well, let's go there. No, wait, All right. wait, you can't just go to gas town. I'm sorry, Connor, I interrupted what you are saying, so how was that gig? Oh, it was just embarrassing. I don't know, it's, uh, people like my songs, it's like, oh, uh, shit. Uh, scavengers. Yeah, a lot of people like my song, and that's cool, you know. I appreciate that, but it, you know, I ain't making money, and 
and it sucks. It really sucks when you like put that stuff out there, and uh -huh. you can see it on people's faces. They're like, "What are you doing?" And you know, especially when you hate the music that's being played that people like, it's fucking irritating. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a, it was a, it was a huge downer. I had to get my feet back under me, you know, because I was like, I right, maybe I should just fucking quit. You know, this is this is ridiculous. Like, I'm getting sick and just being shit on. Oh shit! This yeah. is this is gonna hurt. Oh, it didn't. Oh, nice. But, you know, I, I got back on my horse and I started recording and putting them up on YouTube. Just, you know, raw cuts because we got this whole idea of how we want to do our YouTube channel where I'm just, we're, we're going to walk everybody through making an album. It's going to be a cool time. I think it's going to be fun. So, you want to go ahead and uh, plug that really quick, your other YouTube channel? Yeah, our, our band name's Stunted Kimono, and that's, you know, that's and the channel. And once again, that's Stunted Kimono. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a and yes, a fetish Asian. Fetishization. Oh, <laughs> Fetishization. Uh, fetishization. Yes, it's actually pronounced. Yeah, Mindy, oh. Mindy wasn't happy about it, but that's cool. And she also can't really pronounce it. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. But, you know, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's my band with, admire, with Jake, if you've seen him on some new ones. I just want to point out really quick. I have to admire that guy. Just standing on his car, swirling machetes around as he lights a giant fucking ship on fire. Good for him. He looks like he's having a grand time. Please uh, continue, oh, Connor. Stunt Kimono. We can make a deal. Yeah, we uh, uh, we got some a uh, few songs up there. I'm gonna keep uploading them, and they're just demos, pretty much, just real raw cuts. So uh, that's what we start out with for different reasons. Also, already outpaced uh, the YouTube channel. Yeah, it's it's in like days. I appreciate that. That really made me feel better and gave me some some uh, faith in myself again like and that's cool you know sometimes it gets hard to do this shit but uh yeah that that show was awkward by the way hey, it's nitro oh okay yeah mindy uh mindy did great at her set though people love her yeah her, her, yeah and you know, i like her songs too they're great and they're, they're not my style or anything but they are good songs you know that's true yeah. she she's got this weird uh thing with her where she likes to play kind of Taylor Swift style songs, but she's not a kid, you know, so they have a bit more meat to them. They're songs. They're not bullshit, but <laughs> yeah, we, we, uh, we have fun. Looks like you got a sniper up ahead, Connor, as well as these crazy guys. Oh, that was a good hit, Connor. Yeah, that was rad. Oh. And his bro hit him. Um, so I just want to point out, this is some really. Uh, Really solid gameplay in this so far. I, oh, I, I don't want to fun. keep saying that this is a good game. This is a good game. Um, so uh, I mean, I'm gonna do my best to try and break it down. But so far, what I have seen, this this all oh, gas just flew off of that thing. Yeah, we're full. Though. Um, from what I've seen of this so far, this game is, it incorporates a lot of different elements that should have been combined long ago I think. Uh, and I think they have been a few times before uh, like some of the other notable games that we've been talking about yeah. so far Far Cry and all that cool stuff this one though I really like the the vehicle fascination the fixation um, specifically the customization you know, of, and other isations or whatever words you can figure out no I like what you're saying uh, cause see, you know like this game puts a lot of emphasis on the vehicle but so did uh, the new Batman game. Like they really want yeah. it in a way that pissed me off because they're like, you need to use this, and it's super inconvenient to get it, yeah. but you need it. And, and I was like, you're just making me have to do it. I don't want to use this piece of shit. Uh -huh. And this game is not doing that. I, I like it. I like being in the car. This game, yeah, it's been very solid. That guy looks like he's been through a lot of pain in his life. Uh, that's not cool. <laughs> no, that's fun. I, I like it. We're having yeah. a good time. No, I, 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 I certainly appreciate customization stuff like this. Yeah. Like, that was something that really enticed me about Fable 3 the oh, first yeah. time that I, I read about it in uh, Game Informer. Is that, any of the old Fables. What? Any of the old Fable games. Exactly. But specifically what drew me towards Fable 3 was... Um, their original idea for the weapon was that the in one that where their the weapon melts around stuff you do mutates yeah, yeah. that was pretty cool and um, 
it was kind of interesting because in the game informer story on it it was actually different than what was actually finally implemented into the game yeah uh in the game it was you had a base sword a base hammer a base pistol and a base rifle and as you went through and bought upgrades for the games or uh, for the weapons and you did different tasks throughout oh, the or, or found the uh, secret ones that you were hidden away. Those even changed, too, with Yeah, you. exactly. So as you'd go through, you would find new stuff for your swords, and the swords themselves would start mutating. They had all kinds of different styles for it, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, of course, if you had sex, you'd immediately get an STD, and then your oh, sword would yeah. be covered in pestilence. It starts glowing green. Yeah. Um, Pissed me off. But... It was actually, I mean, though it was really cool on its own, it was disappointing for me at first after reading the Game Informer article. Because in the Game Informer article, it was more about, um, like, the weapon would change to different types of weapons depending on your fighting style. And that was just fascinating to me. That was such a cool idea. Yeah. Um, well, that guy, oh, what's his name? I can't remember his name. Uh, I, it's but, you know, it's like, the same guy who made Black and White, and that was, that was fucking cool at the time when Black and White came out. It was such a new idea and playing God and stuff. The guy is certainly, he's one of those visionary kind of yeah. dudes where he's, he, he has a lot of ideas, you can clearly tell, but it's just the, uh, the fact of the matter is that the Games can't keep up with him at the moment. Yeah. Didn't he drop one of the first Oculus Rift titles where it was... Oh, Milo. You remember that? Milo. Yeah, that was the one for the Xbox, right? I think so. Connect. Yeah, and he was, like, talking to him and showing him. Yeah, that was the first time we ever saw something quite like that. And he was exactly. the one who kind of showed it off. And I don't know. I heard about it. I was psyched. And then it didn't... Yeah, it didn't, yeah, really it didn't come it. around. It kind of floundered. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Um, I think there's a future there somewhere the with the Morpheus and all that with the PlayStation 4. You know, they're, they're pushing... What's the Morpheus? It's pretty much an Oculus Rift, but it's supposed to work in conjunction with your PS camera gotcha. and the weird dotty things that they have, you know, like the Wiimotes, but they're not Wiimotes. <laughs> yeah, with the ones with the weird balls, glowing balls. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I, I think it's cool. You know, yeah, I dream of Nerve Gear, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Just so everybody in the internet... Go left... Go up. In there. In there. Um, just so everybody else happens to nice. know, Could I? Um, Nerve Gear is which anime class? Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online. Um, and that was pretty much like, if you ever seen The Matrix, just plugs directly into your brain and you kind of go into a coma, but you're in the game mentally. Which is a really cool idea, and I can definitely see that like, video games are starting to go that way. Really quick, CFC4 on his chest. Who? My Argus? Uh, like, because that looks like C4, but I don't think it would be. That wouldn't make sense if it was C4. Nah, it's something. Though. There's a flare. Yeah, it's probably like a little survival kit. I'm sure they have a reason. Okay. Collect trigger mechanism. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I love, uh, I love the way games are going in a lot of ways in other ways it it, it really it, it downs me man you know I, I really enjoy big story games and all this high production quality and then sometimes they just shit it out on me and give me this piece of crap like that's way short and has too many collectibles to try to eat up more time and I don't Let's know talk not... about halo oh man that's such an awkward duck for me man yeah um, Halo, when it originally came out, I actually remember seeing Halo for the first time very clearly. I had to go over to my mom's friend's house, um, and I had absolutely no desire to do it. You know, because, like, what am I going to do? I'm a little kid. I just want to play video games all day. And then my mom was like, well, you know, her husband has an Xbox. And I was like, okay, I'll go. That sounds good. And lo and behold, there were some bros sitting uh, with the husband on the couch playing Halo. Slide over. And oh Time my god, I was utterly entranced because they saw an Elite for the first fail. time and I was horrified. I was like, oh my gosh, a big old alien monster is really hard to kill. It's so scary. <laughs> but, I don't know. Oh, that's... Okay. okay. Oh, cool. Okay. That seems like an egregious waste of gasoline. 
Yeah, especially here, right? Oh, kind of auto locks. That's cool. Huh. Hold down equip. So you just hold down to get in that. Uh, so you hold. Okay, you hold down. Yeah. Gotcha. So anyway, Connor, what was your first experience in Halo? Can you remember? Yeah, actually, I do, I do remember because I, I uh, you know, I, I, when I was younger, you know, my, my stepfather was big in games, so I was big in the games. And uh, I was playing with some buddies of mine. We were playing, I don't remember what. I think it was like Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball because we were fucking teenagers. And, of course. Yeah. I, hey, take down the Scarecrow. Uh, so... We're, we're playing the games, and my buddy's like, Oh, dude, you haven't played Halo? Just try that shit out. So, I did. <laughs> and I never, I'd never played anything so much fun in my life. Yeah. For me, that was, that was, that changed everything, you know, because, I, I mean, I played Doom and, and, and the crap out of freaking uh, Diablo 2 and uh -huh. stuff like that, but. The multiplayer in Halo, like, blew me away. And, and actually, yeah. I didn't feel that blown away by a game again until I think Gears of War blew me away too. That gotcha. was that was that was the way the combat was was so intense. You know, same yeah. with, with Halo. Halo at the time was like that too. It was just so intense. And there was there was more to it than. That was honestly, it's it's. There was more to it than just shooting. Really unfortunate seeing where Halo is gone. Because I mean, I I'm I'll be the first to admit, total Halo fanboy. You oh, missed, yeah. There's scrap back there. Oh, is it? Yeah, total Halo fanboy. Like Halos one through Reach, I think. Played all of them except for Halo Wars. Didn't we do the Vidmasters out. challenge together way back when? Which when one we was Vidmaster? Uh, that was like, wasn't it legendary? Uh, was on ODST where you had to do the uh, waves. Yes, I yes, think we yes, did yes. that together. We did that. That was miserably, <laughs> miserably grinded. Totally terrible. And one mistake, and it was start over. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you had the brawl on, and you had to like punch the guy to get your shield back. Yeah. And it oh, was, it was, you know, it, Halo was just the storyline was amazing. Like I was just blown away by all of it. Um, and then, you know, Reach happened, and it tried introducing new concepts, and it was yeah. kind of interesting, because then you had new characters as well, besides the Master Chief, which was a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, some Spartans in there. Exactly. Uh, I also read all of the, well, a few of the Halo stories as well. I read the books. Those were fantastic. Oh, yeah, I really liked the first one. I, I, I like the first one. Um, and then, and then Halo 4 came out after uh, Bungie dropped out of the deal. James Nolan? I don't know. Or not, ba uh, yeah, Bungie dropped out of the deal, right? Yeah, I think Bungie's out. I, and, I don't, uh, I don't keep up like I used to, but. 343 took over. Oh, oh, shit. Seems to be shot, Connor. What am I doing? The camp is alerted. So, um, but anyways, like, Halo 4 came out, and, uh, it just... They, did you play it all? So much. All of Halo 4? Yeah. Yes, I did. I felt like it was something I needed to do. I, I bought it like it was something I wanted to do. Uh-huh. And, uh, I think I started playing and then the weird robot things showed up and I was like, it's not something I need to do. Yeah. That made me sad. Yeah. And then it just kind of dropped off the face of the earth for me. Yeah. And the new one's coming out and they keep looking awesome. Yeah, they, yeah, do. they, they, they do look keep cool. looking really cool. And this one, they're bringing in uh, um, Nathan Fillion. Yeah, you well, know? he was in LDST. But I, the whole I group. understand, but I mean, Nathan Fillion. Yeah, I love know, me some Nathan Fillion. We try and model our hair after Nathan Fillion, but it just doesn't happen. It's hard to. It's hard work. The man is perfect. Um, but, you know, it's like they keep making it look really cool, and then they just... They try and make so many changes to it oh, to make sure they differentiate themselves from Bungie. Yeah, that makes and me sad. It's like you know, you're, 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 you're messing shot. with the core mechanics, and now yeah. it's just a no. Call of Duty clone. It really has, and that makes me sad, too. Oh, man, that makes me fucking pissed. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, I'm, uh, I don't know. I, I, hurry back. This is very, very bad. I played through Halos, all the Halos on Legendary for a reason. 
not to see it go to here where it is now. Yeah. Well, what can you do, man? What can you do, indeed? Besides Ugh. become a game creator yourself. Yeah, we uh, go back to school for animation and try to write the world and put your own new ideas in that will only end up inevitably bastardized and molded to the public's Sad. eye. Uh, Which I think at that, it's a good spot to end the episode. Hey, let's kill it. So <laughs> It's been Connor Cameron. Cameron to Connor. Playing the Mad Max. Playing Mad Max. And talking to bullshits. <laughs> bullshitting. Uh, please make sure to like or subscribe if you want to see more of this. Yeah. Um, and comment down below if you have any any ways to weigh in on, on, on what we've been talking about. Because, yeah, I mean, I, Connor and I recognize that a lot of this has been opinion so far. And, you know, we were interested oh, yeah. to, to. And there's no out. doubt in my mind that somebody, if they actually do watch, would be <laughs> totally in disagreement with us. Exactly. Yeah. So if you do feel that way, you know, please we comment don't. down below and let us know. And we'll uh, duke it out. Yeah, because I love duking. He does. He does love And the nukems. He loves the dookie. The old ones. Nice. <laughs> 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 All right. Later. Anyway. Or, uh, or what?